Hi everyone, my name is Nongulu Legombele and I'm about to get you level smart. If it is your first time to our YouTube channel, kindly subscribe and hit the notification button so that you do not miss any of our uploads. And if it is not your first time, I trust by now you are level smart. Remember good people that any information that I share on these videos does not serve as any legal advice. And if you are in need of legal advice, please seek professional assistance and they will be able to help you. Um, let's get down to it. Today we're going to talk about the kind of cases that can be referred to the CCMA. So if ever you are an employee in dispute with your employer or vice versa, um, with regards to the following cases, you may refer the matter to the CCMA for conciliation and if conciliation fails, the matters may be arbitrated, all right? Okay, firstly, it will be unfair dismissals and remember that we have a time period of 30 days um, since the incident happened um, to refer the matter to the CCMA. Secondly, it will be unfair labor practices and in this regard, we have a time frame of 90 days. And thirdly, uh, there are certain unfair discrimination in the workplace cases that may be referred to the CCMA. And fortunately enough, there's a time frame of six months. All right. So these are the following cases. These are the cases that may be referred to the CCMA for conciliation and arbitration. Okay, and so if ever you want to refer a matter to the CCMA and you have no idea how to go about it, it is quite a simple procedure to go about and it is quite frankly time efficient. All right, so all you have to do is you have to download the Labor Relations Act form 7.11 and you can easily get it from the CCMA website if not. The Department of Labor website, you can access it there, you can download it there. And the likely enough, you do not have to, or it is not a must to hand deliver this to your employer. You can either email it or fax it, but if ever you do prefer to hand deliver it, you can deliver it to your employer. So once you have, once you have delivered that form to your employer, um, the second step is also quite easy one. You can send a copy of that application and proof of delivery to the CCMA. And, and you may do this via email or fax it. And it is that simple. Okay. Then once the CCMA has received this, they will contact you within 30 days um, to give you the details in terms of the time, venue, and date where your first hearing will take place that's about it it's quite a simple and um it is quite a simple procedure to go about um if ever you do want more information relating this you can simply just go through the ccma website and they do have guidelines in terms of what to do when you want to be assisted by them I hope that you find this video informative and I hope that one day it will be able to help someone else out there. Remember good people that this does not serve as legal advice and if you are in need of legal advice, I advise you to seek professional help so that your matter can be dealt with professionally. Thank you so much for your time. Till we meet again next time. Goodbye.